Can't do it on the griddle? You're busting our chops. Pork chops. That's right, that's what we're throwing down today. However, we're doing a hot honey garlic pork chop with an Asian twist. You wanna see how we do it? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brad. We are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do no matter where we are, whether it's in the backyard diner or we're still here up at Brett's place. Yep. And we are knocking out one that I am super excited yeah, to me do. Me too. Because I knew I wanted to do another pork chop cook. Yep. It's, it just, when you find something you love to cook, you want to you want to get creative with it. Mm -hmm. And as I was doing some research, one that came across my page that kept looking really good was a honey garlic pork chop. Unfortunately, pork is starting to raise in prices right now, so we were happy Sadly. to still get a relatively good deal on this pork chop. This yep. is a bone-in pork chop. Yep. Brett will get to the groceries in a second. Yep. Brett, why don't you get to the groceries and then we'll finish talking about it. How about that? <laughs> here we go. As you can see right here, well, up front and center, the star of the show, the pork chop. And for this sauce, we are going to be using low-sodium soy sauce. We've got garlic paste, honey, and sriracha. And then we're also gonna be steaming some broccoli on the sides. Oh, and by the way, we're gonna be cooking the chops with some usual suspects. We're gonna toss a little bit of that in the broccoli as well. Right. Also, not pictured is butter. Whenever we cook pork chops, I love to use butter. So we're not gonna cook the pork chops in the sauce. We're gonna use it as a glaze afterwards. So in fact, it's already in a pot, heated up, getting going on the Sierra griddle right now. And <laughs> oh, the whisk was hot. <laughs> Couldn't save it. Yeah, the whisk it. <laughs> Brett touched the hot whisk. I was so confident. I was like, nah, it's not gonna be that hot. Boy, is it? <laughs> we'll give that a stir here in just a second. We will be using this as a glaze afterwards. We're gonna prep the uh, pork chops. First thing we wanna do is steam some broccoli because we were thinking of a good side dish. Matt, who who we got the idea for the marinade. By the way, did we mention that? Yeah, Matt Arbyshevsky, thank, thank you so thank much. thank you so much. One of our Patreons, by the way. Right, and we did use this marinade minus the garlic on a pork belly cook that we absolutely loved. It was phenomenal. And so when I saw this honey garlic chicken, I knew I wanted to use Matthew's marinade mm -hmm. for this one and then just add a little bit of garlic. So that's what we're gonna do. Yep. We'll get this going and uh, yeah. Oh, he recommended some bok choy on the side. Bok choy. We actually meant to pick some up. We didn't grab some, but we did and have they, the And they actually had it at the grocery store. Totally spaced right. yet again, so. Also, another question that had been asked is how do we steam broccoli on the griddle? So we're gonna show you that process as well. But here we go. All right, first thing, Adam, I'm gonna do is lay down a little pat of butter. Nice, get that going. And this is the first step, what we're doing here is this is... This we're gonna is, steam the broccoli Yeah, first. steaming the broccoli, that's what I mean. And we're, we're not gonna use this whole bag, obviously, we're just using yes, a little bit. Yes, and by the way, you're looking at that thinking, man, that's a huge bag of broccoli. Yes, it is. When we went to the store last night to purchase the groceries for this cook, this was literally the only bag of broccoli that was there. Oh, nice. Is that enough? Nice. Yep, I like to break these down into smaller florets. Now, one thing about this griddle is broccoli does cook really nicely on it. We do a lot of Asian cooks, the stir fries, the hibachi type cooks. And we have noticed, well, we know that broccoli does cook down very nicely. Now, because we are steaming broccoli, there is heat from underneath. We have to steam it. We have to dome it to do that. So I've got this amazing pit boss dome right here, basting dome. And now all we need is water. Bring the noise. By the way, this is metal. It's an aluminum uh, basting dome. We're not, I'm not sliding out all over, so it's not gonna scratch the surface. Now, one thing I forgot. See, yet. look at that. It's already steaming up. It's only been a couple oh, of minutes. Man. So one thing I really look like that. to look do. Look at the color of that. Dude, that it just pops. So amazing. So that is steamed broccoli right there. And then we take the usual suspects. And it I smells like suspects. steamed broccoli, if yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. But it's good. It is. So we use the usual suspects. I do. When I make oh steamed gosh. broccoli, it is so good. One other thing I'll do, but I don't have here today, is I'll actually use a little crushed red pepper. It's really good. So A little what? Crushed red pepper. Ooh, nice. Adds a little bit of uh, heat, but not too much. So, um, yeah, Adam, this is just about done. I'm going to steam it maybe another minute or two, and then we'll pull it. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic because all the steam <laughs> stayed in the, the dome. Now, this is ready to pour. Yes, it is ready to pour. Nice green brightness. That is just so popping. Here we go. All right. Has. Oh, 
Now, because we just added cold water to this and we've cooked, this, uh, the griddle top has lost a little bit of temperature. So we're gonna wait just a minute and let it come up to temp, come back to temp before we throw the chops on. So now I'm going to lay just a little bit of oil down. Still see some residue from the broccoli, no big deal, or NBD. The first thing that Brett's gonna do is he's actually gonna get the usual suspects and just season the one side down. Uh, the seasoning, we really wanna get in there liberally. It's almost, think of almost it as like a rub. Like rub. Yeah. Yep. So this will cause a little bit of a crust and I'm then gonna Brett's gonna lay that side down. And you got oil and butter, you have butter down there? No butter. Let's get I some butter. about the butter, yep. man. See, this is why it takes two of us to cook. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. The, almost didn't make it on there. <laughs> Adam almost missed the griddle. <laughs> this whole griddle, Adam tossed the butter and almost missed it. How about that? Take this, put that right there. Take this, put that right there. And, and we're gonna cook about three or four minutes per side, maybe a little bit longer, we'll probe it. So right now, Brett's gonna go ahead and season. Now, this is one thing that I like to do, Brett. I don't know if you do this. When I do chops, uh -huh. I lay about a half, a quarter to half tablespoon of uh, butter right in the middle on each side. Okay. And so that way when it's ready to flip, it's just got the pat of butter already there. How's that? Good. All right, here we go. Gonna give it a little flippity do and hold it like that, Adam. Does that make yep, you happy? That's exactly what I do. So you saw some of that uh, seasoning kind of stick a little bit. Little bit better. You got a little crust on there, but that's good. That's what we want. Yep, and that's all you, you talked about wanting is just a little bit of crustification. Right, now keep in mind that the majority of this flavoring is gonna come from that marinade. So this one closest to me is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull, uh, pull it because obviously we don't want it to get too cooked. We want it to stay nice and juicy. There we go, we got the second one done. Brett, let's plate it up and let's go ahead and shoot some B-roll. This is no, ready. No, no, no. I want to throw some oh. broccoli back in the. Uh, oh, that's right. So we because we, about this. we did the broccoli first, we pulled it. It's a little bit. It's cooled down. So to warm it up, I'm gonna actually put it back in all this goodness right here and actually gonna warm throw it up a little real bit of water quick. down, just a little bit. Go ahead and toss it down. Just like that. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just real quick, and then we'll pop it right back yep. on the plate, and then we'll start plating Get some of these this up. flavors. The butter and then the usual suspects. All right, let's go ahead and pop it back on here. Kill yeah. the heat. Maybe it won't flip. All right, Brett, let's get ready for some B roll. All right. Well, there it is, and I gotta say, <laughs> this was not, a, this was, I mean, Brett did the cook, so it was fun to kind of sit and back and watch. It was kind of fun to sit up and cook. <laughs> I, I'm really interested to see the, the flavor of the usual suspects with the buttery, kind of that savoriness of the pork chop with the, that Asian flair that we yes. get from Matthew's, from Matthew's uh, marinade yes, with his recipe. the hint of garlic. Matt. Matt Arbacheski, shout out to you, brother. Sherry already had a bite. She said it's absolutely amazing. Then I can't wait. Yeah, I know, neither can I. So let's get right to it, brother. What do you say? Oh, okay, let's do this. <laughs> like we say, it can look amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Ew. 
Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah you can. Yeah. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Dude, that is perfect. I'm having some of the broccoli. Mm -hmm. Cheers. That is, that cake of the sriracha. Mm. But it's not overpowering. So it's, I was, it's I was a kick. Be like, huh? No, so I think I think the way you said it last time was it's like it comes, knocks on the door, doesn't doesn't stick around. Yeah, it just pokes in, sees who's here, and it, and it moves on. That's exactly what this is. Usual suspect. There's so butter. much juice down yeah. here. You got protein. You got mm -hmm. veg. I will say, um, I love the sriracha. If you don't like the kick or didn't want it, I could also do this without. Mm -hmm. So much good flavor there. Mm. Oh, it just so reminds good. me of Robert that, Chavsky, of that pork belly. That. Now the pork belly sandwich, we ended up putting it on a sandwich mm -hmm. with um, Asian coleslaw. Coleslaw, yep. It was uh -huh. so good. Yes. The broccoli is excellent here as well. This is just, I, can we hurry and wrap this up? I want to yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. That. We absolutely love coming to get this, to getting to do these. Another idea for the griddle, another way to do a pork chop. If you did like this because it gave you another idea or you just enjoyed the cook, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Yep. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions. It works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their amazing service work. And Brett, yep. we also have a Patreon page. Yes, shout out to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you would like to support us through our Patreon, that information is posted down below as well. Right, absolutely. But we do really appreciate our Griddle Entourage. Thank you so much for the love and support you give us. And just for coming and watching, everybody, thank you so much for being here. We love getting to come and do this and to share this cook, this passion with you. Yes. Um, Brett, I love doing this and that so we gotta come I. share this. Yes. Aside from coming to make this amazing banger, this pork chop, this honey garlic glazed pork chop. Yes. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.